Hello, I'm Seth, and behind the camera is Tobias. We are from Nelson Tiny Houses, and we're super excited today to share with you our third Acorn house. Um, in between Acorn 2 and this one, we did a few V houses, uh, but this is the first Acorn that we've done since Acorn 2, uh, and that video we did was pretty in-depth. So for this one, we're just gonna go over it really quick and give you a tour, give you a sense of the space, uh, tell you a couple things that we did different, but yeah, not go into too much detail. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. The trailer is 20 feet long. The house is about nine feet wide. Uh, our, our guess on weight is somewhere between 11 and 12,000 pounds. And this one is more off-grid. It's 100% off-grid. Uh, it has an inverter and a couple more propane appliances than the last one. Yeah, without any further ado, let's have a quick look inside. So the layout is very similar to the A2. Uh, you walk in, there's a little mudroom. We tried to make it a little more spacious feeling. The, the Acorn 2 had a solid wall here and it wrapped around. and. We wanted this to feel a little more open when you walked in. Uh, but there's still a place to sit, take your shoes off, hang up your coats. And then when you walk in, you walk into the main room. And it's the kitchen and the living room and the dining room. And uh, it's the everything room. This is where you would prep food, you've got a sink, uh, the table folds up from here, I believe, like so, and then there's some little legs that go in, and there's one for over there as well. Um, one of the requests for this house, the, the woman saw the counter in our last video and she really wanted that same counter and we had just enough wood to to build it and below this this is basically all elevated kind of up above that wheel well so we put lots of drawers uh, under there and over here you've got uh, a propane refrigerator. It can also go electric, but in this case it's just propane. So on this side we put a Dickinson two burner stove top. Uh, they're super well built, sexy little units. These guys didn't need a full oven uh, since it's more of a cabin, recreation cabin. And we did some nice little toggles for the LED lights. Some of the lights are custom like this and some of them are store-bought. On this side there are some places to hang coats kind of near the heater. Warm them up, dry them off. Um, and then we put a little 12 volt fan right here and that just sucks from the shower room. I'll just get out of the way. So shower there and composting toilet in here. This is a nature's head unit. It is by far the most compact composting toilet I've ever installed. Uh, I've yet to use it, but I've heard really good reviews. Uh, so we, yeah, we had a lot of depth here, so we put all these cubbies in. And there are some big drawers under here. And then behind these drawers is the water tank and the water pump. And then this also, obviously this is more storage, but this also converts into a bed. 
We aren't supplying any of the cushions. The, the client's going to come up with those. But, voila, there's a bed. And then this just goes back. Pretty simple. Works well. So for this house, we did two lofts, two ladders, and both lofts can fit a pretty good sized mattress. The, the big loft with the two dormers uh, fits a queen size mattress really, really comfortably. Uh, I guess I'll go up. We ended up going with some store-bought LED lights that are really quite bright. Uh, we might try to figure out a way to dim them down a bit. But they'll definitely be able to see their book. Yeah, two opening windows, cross ventilation. And if you want, you can just kind of like slide down these. <laughs> So that can stay down and this one comes down like so and then it slides over like so and then you go up this way and there's an opening window, a light, a fantastic fan. So when you want to um, have a big party, make a bit more space. You just put these two ladders back up. One goes there. One goes here. Voila, you can have yourself a rager. Well, that was it. That was the quick tour of Acorn 3. I hope you enjoyed it. We certainly enjoy building these houses. And we've got a couple other finished houses out there that we need to do videos on. So keep your eyes open for new tiny house videos from us. And in the meantime, you can check us out at nelsontinyhouses.com. That's it. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.